So the New York Times is reporting the following. $60 million refund request shows financial pressure on Trump from legal fees. The situation signals a potential money crisis as the former president runs a campaign while under criminal indictment in two jurisdictions and soon potentially a third. The political action committee that former president Donald J. Trump is using to pay his legal bills faced such staggering costs this year that it required a requested a refund on a $60 million contribution it made to another group supporting the Republican frontrunner, according to two people familiar with the matter. The decision signals a potential money crisis for Mr. Trump, who has so far refused to pay his own voluminous bills directly and has also avoided creating a legal defense fund for himself and people who have become entangled in the various investigations related to him. It comes as Mr. Trump runs a campaign while under indictment in two jurisdictions and soon potentially a third while also paying the legal fees of a number of witnesses who are close to him or who work for him. So, by the way, the idea behind this is, hey, if we pay their legal uh, fees, they are much less likely to flip on us. That's the idea. It's sort of like a, a mafia kind of move, like, hey, if you do the right thing, uh, we'll take care of you. But if you do the wrong thing, there might be consequences. That's the idea. It is unclear how much money was refunded, but the refund was sought as the Political Action Committee Save America spent more than $40 million in legal fees incurred by Trump and witnesses in various legal cases related to him this year alone, according to another person familiar with the matter. The numbers will be part of the Save America Federal Election Commission filing that is expected to be made public late on Monday. That $40 million number uh, was in addition to $16 million that Save America spent in the previous two years on legal fees. Since then, Mr. Trump has been indicted twice and has expanded the size of his legal team and his two co-defendants in the case related to his retention of classified material work for him. The total legal spending is roughly $56 million. The $40 million figure was reported earlier by the Washington Post. I think we covered that at the time. The PAC was the entity in which Mr. Trump had parked the more than $100 million raised when he sought small dollar donations after losing the 2020 election. There was a big scandal about, I actually, I had read it was $250 million that he raised. They're saying it's $100 million, but that's all for the stop the steal, rigged election, and the money is simply not going towards that. Mr. Trump claimed he needed the support to fight widespread fraud in the race. Officials, including some with his campaign, turned up no evidence of widespread fraud. Duh. Mr. Trump used some of that $100 million for other politicians and political activities in 2022, but he also used it to pay more than $16 million in legal fees, most of them related to investigations into him, or at, and at least $10 million of which was for his own personal fees. Save America began 2023 with just $18 million in cash on hand, which is less than half of what was spent on legal bills this year. Campaign finance experts are divided on whether Mr. Trump is even able to continue to use the PAC for his personal legal bills as he became a candidate last November. Mr. Trump has long told associates that lawyers and other people contracted to work for him should do so for free because they get free publicity. And he has told several associates that legal defense funds are organized only by people who are guilty of crimes, according to people who have heard the remarks. We know for sure he hasn't, like, a lot of his lawyers, he doesn't pay them. And then, you know, eventually a lot of them end up leaving, and they end up leaving in a very high-profile fashion where they start bashing him on the way out. That's because he's not paying them. So when I look at this, and they say about $60 million has been taken from the pack, and he's using it for his personal legal fees, I think, is, is that really the case, or is he doing something else with that money? Is he pocketing the money? Is he doing basically what he did with his, uh, his charity in the past and what he did with Trump University, how that was an obvious and brazen fraud and he had to pay out millions later on because he defrauded people who went to Trump University? Where actually is the money for real? That's my question. So look, even if, if the facts that we're seeing here are exactly correct, this seems to me to be highly unethical. Where you, you know, you're raising money nominally in theory because you're running for president and you're supposed to spend it on election related things and your PAC's supposed to spend it on election related things but then you take it and you use it for your own personal legal issues now that is not i'm not sure that's legal and it is most definitely unethical so even if he, he is using it for that you're kind of robbing your own supporters but my speculation on top of that is i don't even know if i believe that that's where the money is you know i think I think he might be pocketing some of it or using it for other things because 
that he has a track record of doing that exact thing. Earlier this year, Mr. Trump began diverting a large percentage of every dollar he raised online away from his campaign and into his PAC, which he has used to pay for his lawyers. At the start of the 2024 campaign, Mr. Trump has had devoted 99 cents of every dollar raised online to his campaign. I don't believe that number at the time, nor should you. But he shifted that formula to now give only 90 cents to the campaign and 10 cents to the PAC, which is serving as a de facto legal fund. The move, move drew sharp criticism from some of his rivals. Christie went after him. No surprise there. He says, quote, he's going to middle class men and women in this country and they're donating $15, $25, $50, $100 because they believe in Donald Trump and they want him to be president again. They're not giving the money, that money, so he can pay his personal legal fees. I got to be honest with you guys, at this point, the people who are still supporting Trump, <laughs> I, I think they would hear this story and be like, I don't care. I hope he does spend it on those things. I mean, look, that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a cult-like scenario for the remaining, you know, whatever it is, 30% that are just absolutely in love with Trump. So maybe they would just sort of shrug their shoulders at this. You know, there's sort of a sunk cost fall fallacy thing that goes on where it's like you devoted so much time and effort to this man and to what you think he believes in that even when it's he's like caught red handed doing all these crimes and misusing your funds and robbing people, they'd be like, well, uh, Trump can do no wrong. So I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I'm generalizing here. Maybe it would be a lot more nuanced and mixed than that. Maybe some people would say, I don't want you to spend the money like that, but... There probably would be some who say the opposite. A spokesman for Mr. Trump's campaign, Stephen Chung, would not comment on the refund request. Wow, you don't say. But regarding the overall spending on lawyers, he said the weaponized Department of Justice has continued to go after innocent Americans because they work for President Trump and they know they have no legitimate case. He characterized the legal actions against Mr. Trump and his allies as heinous actions by Joe Biden's cronies and said the PAC had contributed to covering legal costs to protect these innocent people from financial ruin and prevent their lives from being completely destroyed. A spokesman for the Super PAC did not immediately respond to a request for comment, despite having his political action committee pay his legal fees. Mr. Trump, a wealthy businessman and celebrity, insisted on Saturday at a rally near Pennsylvania that he would spend his own money on his campaign if he had to. Just like in 2016 when he said, I'm self-funding my campaign. I'm self-funding my campaign. And that, of course, was absolutely untrue. Totally inaccurate. Look, we've covered it over the years. He's taken, uh, I believe it was over $100 million from George Soros, just to name one, right? So he's just like all the other politicians. Look, let's flip this scenario around for a second. Imagine it was Joe Biden and a, a pro-Joe Biden PAC that he was directly linked to. $60 million that was donated to it was used in defense of Joe and Hunter legally. The bar is so low for Trump that it's like, it, it's almost expected that he does something like this, so it's barely a blip on the radar. But if you just switch out Trump and put in Joe Biden, it would be a colossal scandal. Everybody would say it's unethical. Everybody would say it's immoral. Everybody would say it's potentially illegal, if not outright illegal. And it would be on Fox News 24-7. But I guarantee you this doesn't even get a mention on Fox News, even though the, the facts are absolutely damning. So just understand, guys, if you're donating to this man, just understand what it's going towards. Just understand uh, he will take the money and use it for whatever personal things he needs it at the moment. And remember, remember, guys, it's not like they don't have money to pay for this on their own. That's a tremendously high number. But Jared Kushner alone got $2 billion from Saudi Arabia in a business deal. Trump probably got hundreds of millions, if not more, who knows, from Saudi Arabia for his hosting the live golf events at his courses. Trump made a business deal with Oman, the government of Oman recently. He's swimming in cash. But he purposefully wants to shake down and rob his own supporters and hoodwink them because he knows, you know, something like this comes out. He'll either not acknowledge it or he'll call it fake news and move on. And there will be giant applause among his own people. So it's, it's a it's a rough scenario, man. But this is uh, this is unprecedented. That's for sure. Hey, y'all do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.